Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Devilish Simmer and today I'm going to be going over a quick fix it tutorial for you. Now the tutorial is on rugs. So what is wrong with rugs? Well rugs have a issue where if they are placed out of the grid system or on a diagonal we get a bit of a funny graphical glitch. And also we have an issue where the rugs are being placed down flat. So what I mean by this. So if we grab a rug that I know is an issue, which is this uh, Decorama rug. Now, as I place this down, you will notice that it goes from being 3D textured to flat like so you can see it drop into the ground now if i place a rug next to it this one which i know is okay as you can see it doesn't drop this one drops so if we go down you should just slightly be able to see a slight ridge on the carpet on the left but the carpet on the right is completely 2d textured so what we're going to do is we're going to a fix the 3d texturing on the mat and then secondly we have an issue where if we rotate the mat on a diagonal and place it down we get this funny light and dark blocked textured where we want it to place down like so normally so how are we going to do this well there's two sorts of ways Firstly, for the base game rugs, we can just download a mod off of Mod The Sims, which will fix all base game rugs for you with no problem. If you have custom rugs, or if you have store-bought rugs, then this mod will not fix those rugs. To fix those, we are going to need the Sim PE program and you are also going to need a little bit of know-how in how to work sim pe let's quickly jump over to the mod the sims website all right so over on mod the sims we have the mod here that will fix all of the in-game rugs and their recolors this will not fix the custom rugs or any store bought rugs. We'll come to that in a moment. Now, if you have all of the expansion packs and stuff packs, you want to download the rug fix all. If you are missing any of the packs, you want to download the rug fix. You also want to take into consideration that there are two parts to this download. So it comes with two packages in each folder. One is for your bin package and one is for your DL package. So you must follow these instructions on the bottom of the Mod The Sims website. You need to place the bin package in the program files in your EA games, the latest expansion, TS data, res, catalog, and bins. That is where you need to place the bin package. The DL package goes into your downloads folder, just like all of your other standard downloadable content. So, as I've previously mentioned, this mod will fix the 2D texture to the 3D texture and it will fix the angling and the off-grid placement of the rugs having this funny light texture to being 
the standard texture. So you want to go ahead and download this to fix all in-game rugs. I will leave the link in the description box below if you want to head over and get this for yourself. Now we will jump over to the Sim PE program and I will go through a step by step on how to fix any of your store bought rugs or any custom rugs. Right, so I now have Sim PE loaded up and I also have my document folder where my files that I want to fix are stored. So what you want to do is you want to locate where your package file for your custom rugs are stored, which 99% of the time will most probably be in your downloads folder. So we have here the Deco Rug 3x3. This is the rug that I want to fix. This is the rug that I previously just showed you in game that has the issue. So you want to bring that over into the Sim PE program. Now what you want to do is you want to navigate to the object data. In object data, you want to change all of these files. So let's start with the very first one. Open up your first file. And it is best if we change to the decimal system. So we've changed that to decimal. Now, in this plugin section down here, we want to navigate down to section 11, which is miscellaneous. And you are looking for the top line, which is 0 times 0, 0, 0, 0009 type. Now, as you can see, it will say 19. You want to change this 19 to 4. As soon as you've done that, you want to commit. Then you need to do this for every single one of these files in this folder. So, 4 commit. Next file, 4 commit. This can get very tedious if you have a lot of recolors on your rug because you are having to do this for every recolor of the rug. Okay, so we now have all of those changed to the four and we have committed them all. Now we need to just save the package. Now for step two, we need to navigate to the material definition TXMT. So open that up. And then we are going to need to do again the same for all of these files. So you want to open up one of the files and in this pop-up box down here, you are going to search down till you find this file here, which is STD matte lighting enabled. Now, if this value says one, then you are fine. You do not need to do anything. In my case, all of my files do say one. So I have never had to do this step. But if this step has the value zero, then you just need to change this STD matte lighting enabled from zero to one. Then again, you want to click on the commit button and then you need to do this for every single one again. 
as you can see, all mine are all on value 1 anyway. So I do not need to do anything. After you've done that, make sure you save the package once again. And then you can come out of your SimPE. So now we are going to reload into the game and have a look at that very same rug that I've just previously shown you. Here we are once again in the game. So let's jump straight to it. Here is the offending rug. As you remember, when we place this down, you saw the rug drop. Hopefully now, when we place this rug down, we will not see it drop, which we do not. And if we go down low again and have a look, as you can see, we are having a 3D texture to it now, which is brilliant. And again, if we pick this up and we move it off grid or we move it diagonally, then if we place it down, we are getting a perfect rug. We are not getting the funny discolored light and dark boxes. So that is all you need to do. It's two very simple steps in SimPE. If you are adverse to using SimPE and if hopefully this tutorial is easy enough to follow to show you how to do it, hopefully you can quickly jump in yourself, fix your own rugs and you can enjoy perfect rugs in your game once again. I hope this tutorial has been of some use to you and until the next one guys happy simming